hello everyone hope you're doing well thank you very much for watching my videos i'm indu and welcome to my channel today i'm going to repot my florida beauty babies as you can see i have two babies in one pot this is very small pot i think 10 centimeter pot and the root is coming out so i don't know if you can see here the root um, they are coming out so it really needs a repotting. I have two babies in here. I got them, this one, I got it as a single leaf cutting. This is the oldest leaf. And this one, I got it as three leaf baby. These three are the oldest one. So yeah, they are growing in same pattern and they are in same height. So I'm thinking of, um, potting them up together and putting a moss pole um, between them so they can attach to the moss pole and this one is the newest leaf of this plant and this is the newest one of this one but um, you can see it reverted into green and it has got just a slight variegation but you don't have to worry um, the florida beauty they do that uh, as you can see, I when I got it, they produced like total green leaves, both of them. I was um, really not happy when I saw both grew green leaves. But um, later on, they produced really nicely variegated leaves. So yeah, don't worry about um, when your uh, Florida Beauty is producing green leaf. Just give it a little bit of time. Uh, in my opinion they will come back again so this one is pretty as well the new one and um, yeah I'm going to pot them together so here is my another one this one is philodendron white wizard these two are really really pretty plant as well as you can see the um, variegation is really really beautiful I got um, it as a single leaf cutting but it has two nodes so I grew it and it grew like that um, like that size but it didn't do well so I chopped it um, and I got several babies but these two are doing really really well they are from same mother plant uh, so they are like they have like same quality of variegation but this one has a little bit less but i think it's producing variegation as they're um, growing old as you can see this one and this one is uh, high variegation and these doesn't have many variegation but i'm happy with it and this one has the highest variegation so far um this one even produce like full moon here but the sad part is the full moon they just um, dies off if you have seen my pink pink princess uh, it produced like pure full moon i chopped it down now and it's rooting uh, i didn't make a video of chopping down um but yes i chopped my pink princess as well so these two I'm, plant, I'm planting in a one pot as well so they can grow side by side and keeps the variegation I hope and I'm potting them in this tower pot this tower pot is quite nice it's deep um, and it doesn't have big um, big mouth uh, so um, it's a 12 centimeter pot I think and I will pot it up here and then uh, later on for final pot I'll pot it up in a big pan, big pot so I'm using this tower pot for now so I've got two of them here I have my substrate I have um, normal multi-purpose compost and um, buck chip perlite and a little bit of warm casting in it so that's uh, perfect if your substrate um, looks like this this is perfect because they like um, really 
uh, what do you call it airflow in their roots but not too chunky this one is like perfect in my opinion if if you have uh, if you are planting monsteras i would put more buck chip in here but uh, for philodendrons i think it's all right and i'm using this moss pool this one is for my um white wizard uh, this one i just made it up by myself i have like this um metal with uh, plastic cover i don't know if you can see yeah metal with plastic cover in between and there is moss inside and out outside is a basket liner so i um tied it up with this jib um tie jib what do you call it you can just pull it up and it ties up so yeah and this one is just a mess and uh, this one is for my florida beauty it's a, a 3d print uh, one you can like take it off section by section i bought it in etsy um which is quite good i would say but um yeah it's just your preferences if you like it or not um i'm saying it's it looks really clean but um yeah the cost is a bit expensive than your own um made pole but yeah it looks clean and nice though so yeah let's do the planting up so i'll water them before i plant because they can take up the water well and then it will be easier to pull them out from the pot as well so just water a little bit and then let's plant it up so i'll do the florida beauty first let's put some soil mix in here this pot is not too deep so i'll just put soil up to here so i can plant it how they are not damaging the roots let's take this out let's see how the roots are oh that's not bad though i thought the roots will be like really really big but it's not that bad and I'll put the moss pole in between. So I'll put one from the side and another from the other side. Oops. Let me take this out. this one in my right hand this one has more roots than this one yeah so I'll put it up here and this one goes this side it looks good immediately isn't it so yeah, I'll just put some soil mix around. I just want them to like grow really, really big. If you have seen my another Florida Beauty, it has got really giant leaves. I'll show you in a minute that one. Just a little bit more down so the roots can take up easily so that's all done 
my Florida Beauty. So I just need to spray the moss pole so I can keep it more uh, moist. Let's see how it goes. I will update it later. Now my white wizard babies. It's really, really hard to <laughs> focus in camera and <laughs> put it up. That's why I dropped the pink princess without any camera. I chopped my Thai constellation as well yesterday, but I couldn't film it because it was so fiddly and I couldn't do it in the camera properly. So yeah, I chopped my big thigh yesterday. There we go. The roots are quite well rooted here. It was in a, a moss and I put it up in the soil not long ago. So it's still just starting to root, as you can see. Just starting to put out the roots. So it's a perfect timing, I would say. So here is one and here is another one. This one was always in soil so it was all right. I don't know how you feel I feel because I'm putting two in one pot. Is it too crowded you think or it will look good? Just write in a comment if you want to suggest anything but i think i like the look of it they look fuller um but yeah when they grow really really big it might i might get a problem but i might transplant in bigger pot later on when they get really big so for now i think this is a perfect size pot for them in my opinion and I think they look good together as well contrasting each other so here you go all planting done my Florida Beauty and my white wizard babies both of them are babies. They can grow really, really big. Um, I will show you my um, big plant of my Florida Beauty. So this is the big plant of my Florida Beauty. It's growing well. And as you can see, the leaf size, difference between the size. So this one can grow really, really big. So let's see how it goes and I think I will plant it um, in a big pot later on when they grow a little bit bigger size. So yeah, I really love yellow variegation and white variegation and my Florida Beauty is really really beautiful. And this is the newest leaf, it doesn't have much variegation but I love it. And these two are, this one is the original leaf when I got it, this one, it came out after my care, these three leaves. So yeah, all done potting up my Florida Beauty Babies, two of them and my White Wizard Babies. Just water them well and just keep it in, I'll keep it in a rack um, without covering the bottom because it needs to dry out the airflow from the bottom as well. So if you're planting a plant, um, don't keep direct in the decorative pot 
uh, till the root gets really really well um, if you do that they might like waterlog and the root might rot so yeah after planting just um, you need to be prepared that some root might rot because when you're moving the root um, they get like disturbed and um, they might lose the root so you might have like juvenile form of um, shoot that's why I just wanted to um, this one to um, open up properly and then plant it up but yeah I have to do it because even though this one is producing I had to do it so yeah that's the fact uh, that if you are planting you might get some root rot and so you have to have like lots of root uh, before planting and you might get some juvenile leaf um, juvenile form of leaf the next leaf might be damaged as well so that's the you know natural process because their root has um quite moved and disturbed so yeah thank you very much for watching my videos i hope you like it and i will see you in next video please like share and subscribe thank you